Hey there, my name is Derek Henry, and in this video we're going to discuss 10 different ways that you can navigate sheets in Excel. Navigating sheets is something that we're constantly doing in Excel, and we can save a lot of time when we're using the right approaches. So we're going to start with the slowest approach and move our way to the fastest ones. Now, number one, you can just click on one of the sheets. So notice at the bottom, just click on sheets at the bottom. And you know what? That's something everybody that's ever used Excel for more than five minutes knows how to do. It's really basic. And here's a free tip. Right? You can expand the bar down here to show more or less of those sheets if you want to, and that thing's not terribly helpful anyway, so you might as well do that in most of your sheets. Now this is easy, but because it requires a mouse, it's slower, and you know if you have a lot of sheets like we have in this example, 300 of them if you can check the status bar, it's really slow to take that approach. Now the second one is to use the little arrows down at the bottom to scroll through those sheets if you have a you know few that come off to the side you can't see them. Okay and a bonus tip for this one if you click control in the right arrow it'll jump to the far right the last sheet. If you click control in the left arrow it'll jump to the far left. So just a little bit more on top of that one. Now again very mouse driven so it can be a little slow especially when you have a lot of sheets. The third one is to right click over those arrows and it will show you a horizontal list of all the sheets in your file. So if you have a whole bunch of them like this, it's just a little easier to see horizontally what sheet you want to go to. But again, this is very mouse driven. The other thing is that you can't click into Excel anywhere in work. So you have to go somewhere or click cancel to make that work. Now, number four, is you can use the newish navigation pane. This is a relatively new feature in Excel. So if you go up to view up here and you hit navigation, this is pretty slick because it shows you all the sheets in the file, but not just that. It shows you pictures, it shows you used ranges, etc. So you can jump through this and it's also searchable. So if we type 201 or something like that, it'll show us the sheets or the other objects that match that. And because that's one of those right panes that persists, you can still work in the file and get stuff done. So that's a pretty cool newer feature in Excel. But it's also still a little bit mouse driven. So number five is using keyboard shortcuts. In this case, I'm using control and page down to go to the right and control and page up to go to the left. That is a great one I'm using constantly, especially when I'm going to the adjacent sheets. So really quick and easy to learn. Only downside really is that you have a lot of sheets. It's going to take a while to leverage those. Another keyboard shortcut that you can use is control and open bracket. So that's the one up there right next to the P. So if you press this, notice that it jumps to the very first reference in that sheet name. So I'm going to use one of the older and easier ways to jump back to that first sheet. We'll talk about a couple more in a moment. But notice how it would jump to that very first reference. So a lot of times when you're navigating sheets, you're trying to go to the reference and check out the inputs anyway. This just saves you a step. The only downside to this particular shortcut is it only goes to the first reference. Well, that's a great opportunity for a macro like the one we're looking at right here. This one is called Show Cell References, something that I built with this little form here that shows all the references within that formula. So you can kind of see how those relate. We can start typing to go to one that's specific that we want to jump to, like 102 here, and just press the arrows. And notice to the side it shows us the file if it was different, or a sheet, or a cell reference. And we press enter and it jumps all the way to that particular sheet. And even better, if you run it again and there's no references in there, say, hey, do you want to go back to where you came from? Absolutely. So it gives you some options on how to navigate because at the end of the day, that's where you're probably going anyway. It um, is something that does require macros, so just keep that in mind. Now, another option to navigate, this is number seven, is using the name box. So if you're not familiar, this is using named ranges where you can say one or more cells, give them a name. If you're going to reference them, it makes it a little easier. It also provides built-in shortcuts. Okay, so we can jump to, say, sheet 50 at the top, what we labeled that. And notice we're down here on sheet 50. Or we can jump all the way back to the first one. So it provides us some shortcuts. Now this takes a little bit of setup time and unless you're using macros to jump between those different um, named ranges like I do, it would require the mouse a little bit to come up here and uh, click through the ones that you're going to use. Okay. Now another approach is to jump to the first sheet or the last sheet or ones you commonly go to or, or um, you know, back and forth between a couple of sheets. So I'm using a macro that I built that provides several shortcuts in one. Notice I can click F to jump to the first sheet. We're already there, so that didn't do a whole lot. We can press L to jump to the last sheet. 
or we can press P here. So P is previous, so you can jump back and forth between the sheets that you're on if you were going back and forth between them. So this does require macros. You can build a whole bunch of different shortcuts or leverage the one like I'm using. It has several of them in one place. But that's often a great use case for macros, is to really save time in little bursts um, that adds up very quickly. Now, another option, number, uh, what are we up to? Number nine here is to use an autocomplete box. So what we've got here is another form, just like the referencing one, that's gonna let us search for the different sheets that are in our file. So let's say we wanna jump to sheet 114 or 140 or one of these, I just typed a 14 and it brings all these up. So with that full sheet name there, Notice it's got the visibility, it's got the tab color. With a full sheet name here, it'll jump all the way to it. And the best thing is these work really well together. So if we wanted to jump back to the first one, F here is my default. So I'm not even having to press F because you can set your default. Jumps back to the first one. Okay. So again, with uh, with a search form like that, it is something you'd have to build with macros. But it, you know, you can write your own to go to the specific sheet if that's something you want to do. And then the last thing we're gonna look at here is using a hyperlinked table of contents in the front of your workbook. This is again, one of the other shortcuts I built in here with option T. So we can press T and then it prompts you where you want the link to go to. And it builds in seconds a hyperlinked table of contents. And the best place to put this is at the very beginning of your file. So if you're noticing off to the left here, we've got every one of those 300 sheets and then one at the bottom where I was doing some um, updates there. So we can jump to any of these sheets very quickly and then jump to the back, or sorry, jump to the front, which is where we put that table of contents. So these things work so well together to get anywhere in your file within just a couple of clicks. Now this one is something you could build manually, but why do that when you can have a macro build it for you? Now, if we ever wanted to um, override that, say we added new sheets, just run it again, and it'll prompt you, hey, do you wanna go ahead and replace that or maybe rename it to save something you did to it? and it'll rebuild it for you, right? So the idea here is that you can quickly navigate, you can override stuff like this, and just make it so much easier to navigate your workbooks, especially the ones that have a whole lot of sheets in them. Now, if you wanna try out some of the macros that I was using there, um, just hit up the QR code right here or the comments below. If you found this helpful, please give it a like, add in your comments to tell us what you thought, share it with a friend, and don't forget to follow me for more awesome tips like this so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and have an awesome rest of your day.